let's sing and sort our magic miniatures into the D bucket and the H bucket. My first magic miniature is a helmet. Do you hear the at the beginning of helmet? Me too. Let's sing and sort it all the way to the H bucket. H is for helmet, helmet, helmet. H is for helmet. Into the H bucket. My next magic miniature is a dinosaur. I hear the d, d, d at the beginning of d, d, dinosaur. Thumbs up. Let's sing and sort the dinosaur all the way to the d, d, d bucket. D is for dinosaur, dinosaur, dinosaur. D is for dinosaur. D, d, d. Into the D bucket. All right, my next magic miniature is a donut. What do you hear at the beginning of d, d, donut? I hear the d, d, d sound. That means that that's the sound that goes with the letter D. Let's sing and sort it all the way to the D bucket. D is for donut, donut, donut. D is for donut, d, 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 into the D bucket. My next magic miniature is a teeny tiny hanger. I hear the at the beginning of hanger. Let's sing and sort it all the way to the H bucket. H is for hanger, hanger, hanger. H is for hanger into the H bucket. My next magic miniature is a d, d, duck. What do you hear at the beginning of d, d, duck? Thumbs up, I heard a d, d, d too. Let's sing and sort that all the way to the D bucket. D is for duck, duck, duck. D is for duck, d, d, d. Into the D bucket. My next magic miniature is a dog. What do you hear at the beginning of d, d, dog? I hear the d, d, d. Let's sing and sort that all the way to the D bucket. D is for dog, dog, dog. D is for dog, d, d, d. Into the D bucket. My last magic miniature is a heart. Do you hear the at the beginning of Heart, thumbs up. I know that's the sound that goes with the letter H. Let's sing and sort it all the way to the H bucket. H is for hard, hard, hard. H is for hard. Into the H bucket. All right, now I'm going to get out my whiteboard and we're going to listen to some words. I have a very special trick to show you. My first word is hip. Hip. I heard the at the beginning. So I know that I'm going to start with the letter H. Now, if I stretch it out, I can hear that middle sound. Hip. I heard the short I in the middle. So I'm going to write the I. Now I'm going to listen to my ending sound. Hip. That's the sound that goes with the letter P. So I'm going to put a P at the end. All right, reading fingers out. Hip. Now blend it. Hip. But what if I want to make this word? I don't hear the I anymore. I hear the A in the middle. So I'm going to take out that short I and replace it with the short O. Get out your reading finger. Ah, blend it, hop. I changed one sound and one letter and I made a whole new word. Now I'm going to get out some sounds and words I know to write a sentence. My first sentence is, I like to hop. Let's clap it. I like to hop. Let's tap it. I like to hop. All right, let's count how many words are inside my sentence. 
I like to hop. There are four words inside my sentence. A sentence is a group of words that tells a who and a what. All right. I'm going to start my sentence over here. I always start over here when I write a sentence and I go this way. And I always, always, always start with an uppercase. But my first word is also I. So I know the word I is always an uppercase. So that is two reasons I am starting with an uppercase. I. I make sure to put spaces between my words, like L I K E. And one thing I notice about my word like, I'm gonna make my L a little bit better there. I notice that the I, 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 I is saying his long sound. And that magic E is at the end, very quiet, not saying anything, sprinkling. The magic fairy dust onto the eye to help him say his own name. I like two. T O two. I like to hop. Uh, hop. I heard the at the beginning. Stretch it out. I heard the short O. I heard the P at the end. All right, let's take a look. I like to hop. And at the end, I have to put a period, which is just a little dot. And the period tells us stop. It tells us the sentence is done. We have a complete thought. Let's circle the words in our sentence. I like to hop. Thumbs up. All right, now I'm going to use my sock eraser and I'm going to get ready to write two sentences. Are you ready? Okay, that's where the period at the end of a sentence gets to be really, really important. My first sentence is, Matt hid my hat. Matt was being maybe not very nice. Let's see what we can do with this sentence. We're going to start over here and we start with an uppercase, but Matt is also a name. So that is two reasons why, why we're starting with an uppercase. All right, Matt, that's my M. Matt, I hear the short A, Matt. Matt, now put spaces between our words. Matt, there's my H. Matt hid my M, Y, my. Matt hid my, uh-oh, I ran out of room. So I need to go shoom to the next line. And then I can continue writing. Matt hid my hat. I hear the H at the beginning. Hat. I hear the short A. Hat. Matt hid my hat. That's the end of my first sentence. So I put a period. My next sentence is, I see my hat. That's good news, right? Okay, so I'm going to start my next sentence right there. I, making sure to put spaces between my words. C, S, E, E. Those are those E twins saying E on the roller coaster. I see my, I know the word my is M, why my? And when my word only has one chunk in it and I have an I, I, I at the end, then we spell it with a Y. That's the rule. But we learn it a bit later. I see my 
Shoop, I go to the next line. Hat. Hat. Period. All right. Now let's go back and read our two sentences. And when we get to the periods at the end of the sentences, we're going to clap. All right. Matt hid my hat. I see my hat. I clap two times because I have two sentences. Thumbs up. I've had so much fun today listening to beginning sounds d, 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 and writing new words and writing two sentences. I'll see you next time when I teach to your super learning powers one child at a time.